Okay, so today we are doing logarithms and logarithmic functions. What logarithms are is it takes the exponent and rewrites it so we can solve for it. So I have my base, which is log base b, and then y is what it equals, and then x was my exponent. So basically all this is doing is switching the exponent and the answer. These are like inverse functions here. So when it asks me to rewrite an exponential form, 2 is my base, and then this is going to become my exponent of 4, and then the 16 is going to be my answer. So I'll rewrite that without the arrows there. It's 2 to the 4th just equals 16. All it wants me to do is rewrite. I don't have to do any solving here. So I want to do the same thing for number 2. I'm going to have a base of 4. And then this is going to become my exponent. And the 1 is going to become my answer. My final answer is 4 to the 0 equals 1. Same thing for number 3, so it's going to be 12. And then this, oh, that was the wrong color. I'm in the wrong way. So 1 becomes the exponent, and this 12 becomes the answer. Over here I have a base of 1 fourth, negative 1 needs to be my exponent, 4 is my answer. So for this one I want the 1 fourth in parentheses, so I know that that exponent applies to it all. Okay, so numbers 5 through 8, I'm going the other way around. So I'm going to write the word log, and then my base is the little tiny number next to the log. And then my numbers will switch. So I'm going to have the 25 go down here. And then this 2 go right here. So I have log base 5 of 25 gives me 2.
Then over here, I'm going to have log base 10. This goes next to the word log, so 0 0.1. Oh, I want to write that in. Okay, and then the exponent, negative 1. So I'd write log 10 of 0 0.1 equals negative 1. Over here on number 7, I have log base 8. The 4 goes down here. And the 2 thirds go over here. So it's log base 8 of 4 equals 2 thirds. Over here, I'm going to have log base 6, and then the 1 over 216 goes here, and it's going to equal, this is a negative 3. These want me to evaluate each logarithm, so what I can do is I can set these equal to y and then rewrite as an exponential function. So I can have 4 to the y equals 64. And I can rewrite 64 as a power of 4. The same thing as 4 to the third power. So if I look, I have the same base. And I can just set my exponents equal. So my answer here would be y equals 3. So I can keep doing this by hand, or I can go to Desmos and type this in. I can type in log, and then if I do shift the button next to zero, I can get the underscore five, and then arrow out 0 0.2. It gives me negative one. So I can go ahead and do the same thing for number 11. I want log base 1 fifth. I'll do point 0.2. I don't know why it's not letting me do the log base of a fraction. So, 1 fifth equals point 0.2, which gives me negative 3. I 
And then I can go ahead and do the same thing for number 12. Which I always want my answers as a fraction. So one half. Okay, so what did you guys get for number 13? Number 14? Someone other than Abigail, what did you get for number 15? Okay, someone else, what did we get for number 16? Mm -hmm. Questions on the first slide. So then, how would I write number 17? Mm -hmm. Number 18? Number 19? Yeah. And then number 20? On number 21, I'll look through these with you. I realized if you go to desmos.com slash, nope. Instead of calculator, if you type in the word scientific. Yeah. It'll let you do the fractions there. So I can do log base 4, and then 256, 256. Why aren't you evaluating? Never mind, it doesn't work with desmos.com slash scientific. Mm-hmm. I know, but if we were using the graphing calculators, we could type the fractions in this way and confuse. Uh, so anyways, log base 4 and then 256, which gives me 4. So 22 will work. So then this one is going to be log base 8 and then 0 0.125. Gives me negative one. This one instead of I can type this one in Desmos a special way since one third is a repeating. I can do just log of 27 over log of one third and it'll still give me the answer. So if I don't have a base, nope, nope, the one third is good. Okay. 
So this gives me negative 3. And then I can do the same thing for 24. This one's a normal one. So I can do log base 64 of 8, which gives me 1 half as a fraction. Questions?